Hello and welcome to Marimbula Airport on the New South Wales South Coast. Today I'm going to be flying with Rex on board one of their many Saab 340s and I'm going to be travelling to Sydney and the flight will also be making a brief stop in another small town a little bit up the coast, uh, Maruya. So we're going to have a low level flight between the two coastal towns for about 20 minutes and then about 45 minutes up to Sydney. Um, I, I've grown up in well, spending a fair bit of time on the south coast of New South Wales. My family has a coast house in a small town called Dalmeny, um, which is midway between Marimbula and Maruya. And if the weather stays as it is, I should get a really nice view of Dalmeny from where I'm sitting. Um, so I'm really excited to come out and fly over an area I know so well. Uh, but I've only ever really driven here. And I'd have tried this flight before and I made the mistake of sitting right up the front where my view was obscured by the wing. But I'm not making that mistake today. Um, now I've just arrived on board Qantas Link. I you know if you watched last week's video. If not, go check it out. Um, so I'm here quite early. The aircraft's only just leaving Sydney now. We've got a little bit of time to spend here in Marimbula. Um, it's a really little terminal, as you can see. Um, but it's quite modern, so let's go inside and check it out. So my favourite part of these tiny little airports is this um, the outdoor waiting area. The aircraft's going to pull up and park just off here. Um, so we'll get a nice view of it coming in uh, when it does arrive. Um, yeah, there's not much else to the terminal. Uh, no security here in Marimbula. Um, so if I had an onwards connection, I would have to re-clear security in Sydney because we don't clear it here in Marimbula as it's an unscreened port. Uh, the maximum aircraft size that can serve us here is 50 seats, which is Dash 8300, which we just flew in on. Um, so yeah, come with us and um, check out the Rex service up the coast to Sydney. Okay, so I'm here in the Marimbula depart Marimbula departure lounge um which wasn't anything special but this airport for a regional airport um out in the middle of more well, pretty regional old areas for australia is really nice and um yeah just waiting on the aircraft to arrive it's about 25 minutes away at the moment i'd guess and um just waiting for some monsoonal rain to clear um yeah you may have noticed i'm traveling with my friend today jacob hi hi guys how are you uh that's awkward introduction number one at some point in time jacob might make some videos for this channel um he certainly can so yeah um hopefully on time because jacob has another flight to get once we arrive in sydney and the connection's not the best of connections and i have a train to catch all the way up into the blue mountains um, and I'd really like to be on the express train which leaves at 547 which is not long after we land so <laughs> and Jacob's now looking at me going you idiot that's not gonna happen and it probably won't but I can I can wish for things um, so yeah fingers crossed this uh, monsoonal rain doesn't hold us up at all and uh, we're on the way on time for Maruya and Sydney Not looking good for our tight connections in Sydney. Um, aircraft's gone into a bit of a holding pattern um, because of the weather around Marimbula here. Um, so yeah, let's see how we go. Yes, those landing lights I could see are most definitely coming from that of a Saab 340B+, namely VHZXQ, which is 
currently the newest Saab 340 in the Rex fleet. Uh, nothing's new when it comes to a Saab, it's 25 years old or something, but uh, they only have one newer than this, and despite the fact it was delivered last July, it still is yet to enter service. So, yes, this is the newest one they have. Uh, delivered in about 2018, I want to say. Uh, it came from an airline in the US called Silver Airways, and I'd have to fact check all of that, but I'm pretty sure I know what I'm talking about today. I'll Google that. And here it is now, I hear Saab. All right, I need to fact check myself here. So it is the newest Saab. I got that bit right. It was delivered to them in 2018. It came from an airline called Nok Mini in the Philippines. Um, yeah, anyway, here it comes now. Let's check her out. Great timing. Why not? Couldn't ask for better. Okay. There we go. Thank you. Thank you. How's it going? I'm on board, just watch yourself on the way up the hill, please. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. Afternoon, how are you today? Yeah. Welcome aboard. Just mind your head as you pop yeah. up. We've got you in 9A, which is nine rows down the single side today. Perfect, thank you. The Saab 340 has 34 seats in this comfortable one two layout. The back row does have a middle seat, which has direct aisle access. Flight through to Maria is just 18 minutes and the seatbelt sign remains on the entire time. Of course, no service is offered. Today, the flight was incredibly rough and I did try to get the camera on to film some of that turbulence. However, um, I was actually worried I was going to knock the camera off the window. A video without a GoPro fail or a Zach fail and today it was most definitely a Zach fail as I forgot to turn my microphone on. At this point in time I was just talking about how rough the flight through to Maruya was and um, saying that we were remaining on board the aircraft while in Maruya. Um, about, I think it was three people left the aircraft and maybe six joined. Uh, there was 19 passengers on board leaving Maruya.
So at this point in time, we're on the way from Maria and my microphone is still turned off. Um, look at your camera, Zach. It would actually tell you that the microphone's off. Um, so yeah, the flight time through to Sydney was about 55 minutes, I think it was. Um, and the conditions were generally smooth once clear of the cloud base out of Maria. Having a look at the seat, um, as I said in my audio, every Saab is different. Um, this aircraft has nice leather seating, um, reasonably well looked after. It's got this typical large tray table, and as you can see, the legroom is okay. Um, Dash 8 probably had a bit more. Um, the seat pocket does have a safety card and the Rex magazine, which I then proceed to flick through and probably talk about something in it. Um, but yep, that is the Rex magazine. And um, yeah, it really would have been good if I turned my microphone on. There's also an array of sick bags there. There's an overhead panel with all your standard features. And there is my view out the window as we cruise up to Sydney. Um, the Rex service today, um, there was the choice of a sweet or a savoury snack, which is pretty standard. And thankfully for me, Jacob got the sweets, sorry, Jacob got the savoury snack and I got the sweet snack. So I will show you both shortly. So as we peer onto Jacob's tray table, he's opted for the savoury snack, which was a trio of soy crisps and he just got a water. Tea and coffee are offered complimentary as well as water. However, today I opted to buy a soft drink, which is $4 off the menu. And I opted for the sweet option, which was this cookies and cream slice. And it's at this point that the penny dropped and I realized that the microphone had not been working for God knows how long. I wonder how long this microphone's been dead for. Um, yep, yeah, so for the slice, we've got two little bite-sized pieces. And uh, I'm going to go back and check how much of my talking footage um, the microphone was turned off for. That is an epic Zach fail. Well, it's a good thing I realised my microphone was turned off at some point today. Um, so yes, as I mentioned earlier, the turbulence between... Well, I mentioned it earlier, but you wouldn't have heard that because potato. Um, yeah, the turbulence between Maruya and Marimbula was pretty gnarly. Um, so yeah, we got through that and um, we're now on our way up to Sydney. Um, you head inland on this track and pick up uh, the track at a um, point called Akmere, which is off in the Blue Mountains. You head to that point from uh, between Canberra and Sydney on turboprop as well. Um, flight time was 36 minutes today, nice and quick. Should have us on the ground in Sydney ahead of schedule, which is good, uh, despite the late departure from Marimbula. And um, yeah, um, I'll go back through the seat to a uh, No, I'll just put in the footage with the potato volume. Um, so yeah. Okay, so. So as you heard, we'll just commence our descent into Sydney. Um, I don't know how we're going to go. They didn't mention a time. Uh, it's 5.03 now. My train's at 5.47 from Central. Um, I don't like my chances, but nah, we'll see. I can still get to where I need to go, just on a slower train. Um, yeah, it's frustrating that if it's not the GoPro stopping up, it's me by not turning my microphone on. Um, yeah. Um, pretty comfy flight. I was worried uh, with this that this uh, might not be the most comfortable. I've flown on this one's sister ship um, and it was horrendously uncomfortable with these weird sort of slimline seats. Uh, but these seats are fantastically comfortable. I'm not sure if Rex have maybe put these in because they're consistent with what the rest of the Rex fleet have. Um, but yeah, anyway. Um, so you descend into Sydney and um, see you on the ground.
Thanks, Steve. Thank Very nice evening. Very and just mind your head as you go as well. Perfect. Thank, Thank you. See you next time. See ya. Okay, so I have 100% missed the train. However, Jacob has most likely 100% made his flight. Yeah. All right, I am back here where I started this morning. Um, no, I didn't start it. It's when I started in Canberra this morning. Yeah, this is where I started my Qantas Link video, and that was a, still just a matter of hours ago. Um, a fantastic flight on board Rex, apart from that absolute mad as hell turbulence. Um, I don't know. Jacob, who I was traveling with, said he didn't think it was that bad, but he also used to be a flight attendant, so I didn't like it. I wasn't having much fun there for couple of minutes but thankfully it was over pretty quick and the second flight up to Sydney was smooth and uneventful. Um, the service on board Rex as always is fantastic and as always if it wasn't a GoPro fail it was a Zach fail and I neglected to turn my microphone on on multiple occasions so we'll see by now you'll know what I've stitched together but uh, I've got no idea what I'm gonna be able to stitch together so uh, and that's an adventure for me in a couple of days. Um, there goes the Saab. Got a tiny little speck on my camera just there. Um, yeah, so if you've liked this video, don't forget to hit the like button. Comment down below what you thought of the Rex service and the tiny airports we're flying into. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn that bell on so you don't miss another one of my videos. And I'll be back next week, Monday at 5 o'clock. I should know this routine by now. Third time I've done this today. Next Monday, 5 o'clock with another video. Um, and I'll be flying Rex again on their 737, trying to make up for that lost video footage. So hopefully one of my business class upgrades or both comes through. Anyway, see you then.